Okay, everyone, if you haven't been told already, well, let me tell you, Delta 8 is more legal than ever, if that's even possible. Look, Delta 8 has been going from illegal to legal. Is it legal? Is it synthetic? No, it's not. Yes, it is. The DEA had an interim final rule. They're talking about D8 synthetic. It's banned. We've had states uh, banning it most recently in Texas. It was banned and then it was unbanned. So um, let me just break it down for you so that you can understand clearly. But this is just mind blowing right just absolutely mind-blowing this is the first ever statement the dea has made about it and it was made on camera so i can also uh i can also attach that below for you so that you can see um and basically this was uh, at a town hall meeting with the department of uh agriculture in florida and it was with the usda and the dea and basically during the town hall um Miss Miss Bell and uh, Mr. Mitchell of the DEA were asked the following question. D8 is legal to be sold in Florida. For it to be illegal would take statutory change. And we have a statement out on our website, which you can read, and how we monitor and regulate it. And we do monitor and regulate it. And regulate it. Uh, is, is, is that... It regulated is that we pull products and test them for their total THC, which the formula we use is here, which is THCA multiplied by 0.877 plus delta 9. So that number must be below 0.3 or less. So talking about delta 9 concentration, not delta 8. And I know that Sean has received several questions saying that the DEA is making uh, D8 illegal. Would you have a quick second to talk about that? And here we go. In response, Mr. Mitchell of the DEA states, Sure, I just want to expand beyond Delta 8. There's Delta 8, there's Delta 10, and there's all kinds of different cannabinoids that are associated with Cannabis Sativa L that are kind of out there and making the rounds. So what I want to say and I'll be very, very deliberate and clear. Are we ready for it? At this time, I repeat again, at this time, per the Farm Bill, the only thing that is a controlled substance is Delta 9 THC greater than 0.3% on a dry weight basis. Holy shit. Can you just imagine that the DEA just came out and said that all Delta 8 is legal? And for us, I mean, it's definitely paying off because we feel that so many companies have just went like, this thing's going down the toilet. It's only a matter of time before this is banned. Nobody cares about quality. Everyone just wants just whatever they can get their hands on before it's illegal. And now we've maintained ourselves as, an, as, as, as a number one brand in the hemp space for quality, quality hemp products. And now we've just gotten this, which is unbelievable. Um... Next, to, to make things even a little bit better, um, the DEA made a second public statement about uh, Delta 8, and that was sent to the Alabama Board of Pharmacy. Um, the DEA publicly addressed the legal status of D8 again in a form of a response letter to the Alabama Board of Pharmacy, dated September 15, 2021. In this letter, the chief of the DEA's Drug and Chemical Evaluation Section of the Diversion Control Division, they don't make that easy, uh, responded. And basically what he said is, is cannabinoids extracted from the cannabis plant that have a D9 concentration of not more than 0.3% on a dry weight basis meet the definition of hemp and thus are not a controlled substance under the Controlled Act. So... I want to uh, just highlight this once more. Cannabinoids extracted from the cannabis plant 
that have a D9 THC concentration of not more than 0.3% on a dry weight basis meet the definition of hemp. So delta 9, as long as it's extracted from a plant that is less than 0.3 in it, is legal, everybody. Wake up to that. Additionally, the D8 said that... Uh, um, da, 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 the Agricultural Improvement Act of 2018 amended the CSA to remove tetrahydrocannabinols in hemp. As noted, however, hemp is defined as and is meant to mean the plant cannabis sativa L and any parts of the plant, including the seeds thereof and all derivatives, extracts, cannabinoids, isomers, salts, acids, and salts of isomers, whether growing or not, with a Delta 9 THC concentration of not more than 0.3% on a dry weight basis. Thus, only tetrahydrocannabinol in or derived from the cannabis plant, not synthetic tetrahydrocannabinol, is subject to being excluded from the Controlled Substances Act. And then here's the cherry on top, right? Because everyone is like, the interim final rules, everything synthetic. We like Delta eight illegal. You're all crazy selling Delta eight, right? All these naysayers. It's like unbelievable. And so here we go with respects to what is meant by the term synthetic THC, which is a controlled substance. The DEA clarifies that it is Delta eight produced from non cannabis materials. In other words, the DEA confirms that synthetics THC means THC produced from materials other than hemp, a lawful form of cannabis. Boom. What do you know? So now it's like, why would any of these states ban Delta 8 when the DEA just came out and said it's legal? Like, this is also the same thing with Texas, right? Texas came out and tried to ban it. And yet now it's like, well, we just had this article come out and it's clearly shown that D8 is legal. And will that change over time? Sure it could. But overall, we are good. We got the green light. Big daddy up there, the DEA just said, you're good to go. So now it's just about continuing what we've been doing making sure that we're putting out good products. And the other thing I'll say is, is just because the DEA says something's legal doesn't mean that everything's quality. And so it's really important to recognize that D8 is made in many different ways and the cleanup process is very different for many different businesses. And I don't trust half of these companies because they don't really know what they're making in the first place. And so just be careful with what you're consuming. Check your products for test results and don't buy products from companies that don't test. And if they're lying or like even even it is, don't buy products from companies that you don't know who the CEO is, right? How about that, right? Like if they're hiding from who they are, then there's a that level of shadiness to that. So if they don't test their products, then they don't really care. If they don't care, then what's in their products? It's just, you know, you get the gist. So make sure you're doing your best. Do your do your your research before buying these compounds and make sure they're as pure as possible. Make sure you have all the test results for them. Enjoy responsibly and you know, make sure these stay out of your 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 kids' hands. Make sure you're using child safe packaging. Because it's only a couple more things with the with kids consuming it. That's how they ban this stuff. So should all be uh, in child safe packaging and um, enjoy, enjoy it, everybody. Enjoy it. All of you who are in states where you haven't been able to get legal THC, enjoy it. Take it all in and just do your best to, you know, enjoy the sun while it's out, right? Because chances are it won't be out forever. And uh, and so I just got to smile ear to ear right now because Delta 8's legal, everybody. No more questions. It's legal. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe. Share it with some friends. If you got some naysayers, you know, send them this video and uh, we'll clear all that up for them. I'll leave the comments below for you so that you can check out the article. Peace.